Hello everybody. Today we're going to work on the wing tips. The first decision you have to make is how to attach the wing tips to the wings. You can make them removable, for instance by screwing them to the uh, to the wings, or rivet them, either pop rivet or um, rivet riveting with solid rivets. Uh, I decided to rivet it. First of all, I don't think there is a lot of use of removing the wingtips. Of course, if you need to do something, let's say structural, then it's easier. Uh, however, I use the Flylet's light, uh, which provides big holes in where the light should be. So if I want to get into it, I can grab into it anyway, as you can see here. So there is enough space to get in there. Also, I like it better. It's, it's nicer and uh, probably less maintenance. Well, then there is the question, should you use uh, blind rivets or flush rivets? I decided that I want to, as I said earlier, I want to minimize the use of uh, blind rivets. I think you can probably do it with blind rivets, uh, structurally, but I don't like it. So, yeah, I'm going to decide to do everything with um, normal rivets. Which is um, a challenge, because there are places where you cannot... Or it's very hard to reach, let's put it that way. You can see that here. So, we use a combination of a, um, a very small endoscope on a laptop. Uh, so we can see where we are, because there's no way that you can see what, what you're doing. You can see it here a little bit, so we, we have an endoscope on a stick. We put the stick in there and at least we can see where we are. And then we reach in with the bucking bar. And uh, my dad does um, the riveting, I do the bucking. That works. You will later see that I did some... I prepared the uh, wingtips. Because if you would buck a, uh, a wingtip, which is glass fiber, uh, fiberglass, that it would... Uh, rip the fiberglass. So there is a strip, a metal strip on the inside. You will see that later on the other wing. Uh, I already prepared it here. Okay, so we did the uh, the bottom side. Now we're going to do the top side. Uh, same procedure. Uh, you cannot really see it here very well because we're standing in front of it. Maybe I uh, should have picked a better camera point. But you can see it here. So my dad does um, the riveting and I go into the holes. Uh, to bucket. You can see now that I don't use a bucking bar anymore because my uh, my arms are too short for that. So I have a, a hammer, a very big hammer, and I um, I grind it off some parts so it is uh, uh, angle and square, and I use that as a bucking bar. It's not ideal, but it works. And with the um, endoscope, I can see if uh, the if I book it correctly. And now even that's too short, so you can see I'm, I made a, a stick. I put the hammer with duct tape on a stick. I, uh, uh, I put the hammer on there uh, first. Later it turns out that it's better to have the bucking bar in there and the hammer as a uh, counterweight. So, um, yeah, it's easier to buck. Um, so that's the technique we use. Um, you can reach in there, and that way you can uh, buck those. We could we could do all rivets with uh, normal ways. We didn't need any blind rivets. Of course, it wouldn't be a problem to use blind rivets, but we don't do it because I like it better. And that's done. So one wing is now completely done, and uh, yeah, we have to uh, put it back into the cradle and get the other wing. Uh, because my workshop is a little um, small, I have to do some uh, logistical uh, stuff here. So this is the other wing, in the, or still in the cradle. And uh, without a, a tape a tip, as you can see. So um, we put the, the fish wing into the cradle. And now we put the table on the other side, so we can uh, get the other wing and lay it on the table. Put the cradle back into the 
into the back of the workshop and now we can work on it. This wing uh, is the left wing, it's a little harder because there's a pitot tube as you can see, so uh, the bottom side is easy. But if you want to turn around you cannot uh, put a wing on its uh, pitot tube of course, so we have to be careful there. Um, here you can see we do the preparing of the, uh, the tip. We um, trim all the plexiglass which doesn't fit, so you have to check how to fit it. It should fit very nicely. It should fit actually, you could almost say it, should, it shouldn't be able to fit because uh, um, if, you, if you make it fit too easily there will be a uh, space between the plexiglass and the um, aluminum. So you have to be very, to make it very st strong to get in there so it fits nice. Here we have the uh, the cord, so we check the cord to see if uh, the flaps or actually the ailerons in this because it's the outside. If the ailerons are completely level, um, we do it with a little, there are tooling holes in the ribs and uh, we, uh, we use a small wire to go through all the tool holes and um, align the aileron. And then we can see if the aileron aligns with the tip. Because the tip can, you can pull a little on the top or the bottom and it will actually make the end go up or down. Of, of course not that much, but yeah, a few, a few eighths of an inches. So in order to make that correct, we, uh, we align the, uh, the aileron. With a few holes uh, drilled, we can now uh, drill all the other holes. Again, we have to, you have to put as much pressure forward uh, to the, let's say, uh, leading edge as possible to make a nice fit. Um, and here uh, I use the same uh, stick for drilling uh, because I want to pressure, give pressure on the inside of the, um, the wingtip uh, or else it would kind of go away. Um, and then we start riveting again. So this is actually, you could say, the same situation as we were uh, earlier. I think this wingtip was also already prepared with a um, strip on the inside. I think... Oh no, that's not, that's not the case. No, no. So here uh, we drilled all the, uh, the holes and now we have to uh, insert the um, strip. So we did a little, do a little bit more trimming. And um, we have to, of course, deburr all the holes. So we have drilled all the holes. And um, now we can insert the, the rear trailing edge uh, rib. There's a small, uh, yeah, almost half a rib, you could, half a rib, you could say. Uh, that is for the trailing edge, because there is no, there is no wing there to uh, attach it to. Um, the wing is dimpled, so I need to um, countersink the, uh, the wing tip. We do that here. Okay, so here I dimple uh, the holes that, uh, that are dimpled yet. This makes everything flush and uh, you get a real nice flush attachment of the wing tip to the wing. Again, I use a squeezer wherever possible. So that's the, uh, the wing tip, and here is the strip I was talking earlier. So it's a small aluminum strip, and uh, I use that to be able to rivet. Because if you wouldn't do it, it would definitely break your uh, your wing tip. You could also use washers or small, let's say. Uh, very small parts of a strip, but uh, yeah, it, it's a lot of work and uh, the weight is almost minimal. So uh, I use a little glue to keep it uh, there and also prevent it from um, from uh, vibration. So that's that. 
and this uh, enables us to um, yeah to rivet the wingtip to the wing I think I did the actual that's the that's whole day so I think I do the actual riveting of this um, wingtip on another day oh yeah the wingtips are a little well, not flimsy but they are not very strong so I created an inside rib from glass fiber and resin and I insert it into the rib to give it a nice sturdy feel okay continuing building my pie in the sky